Hello again. By now, you should be familiar with the guide notes of the treble clef and the first five notes starting from middle C and going up to treble G. Now let's keep going higher by memorizing the notes between our guide note treble G and our next guide note treble C. We left off the last lesson with treble G. It's on the line going right through the middle of the G clef. If we go up from this line to the space right above it, we have gone up by one step. What comes next in our music alphabet after G? I hope you didn't say H. Our music alphabet only goes up to G. Then we have to start over again with A. If we step up from this space to the very next line, we've stepped up from A to B. And if we step up one more time from this line to the very next space, we will have arrived at our next guide note, treble C. The four notes we're trying to memorize in this lesson are G, A, B, and C. We should already be very familiar with G and C, so let's just focus on those two notes in between. Were you paying attention? Time to see what you remember. What note is this? When you see this note, you should think to yourself that it is sitting right above our guide note G. If you step up from G, you land on A. Here's our other new note in this lesson. When you see this note, it's best to think of how it's just one step lower than our guide note treble C. Stepping backwards in the music alphabet from C would mean going from C down to B. B comes right before C in the music alphabet. Once you are good friends with the four notes covered in this lesson, you'll be ready to continue on even higher in the treble clef. But please don't try to go on until you can name all of the notes we've covered so far without even having to think about it. You can use my little tricks to help you out in the beginning, but our goal is to have the notes completely memorized. Looking for a fun way to practice learning your music notes? Flashnote Derby is an app for your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch that can help. Simply select the notes that you wish to work on memorizing, and it's off to the races. Answering correctly pushes your horse forward to the finish line, while wrong answers send you backwards. Afterwards, you can review the notes that you missed and try again. Memorizing notes is boring, but horse races are exciting. Start enjoying your music studies more and get Flash Note Derby today. Available from the App Store or visit LearnMyNotes.com for more information.